Hi, I'm the envious of quite a few people here because I'm a teacher who's just retired. So I've got all this time to play with these pies. The only problem is, I don't know what the hell to do with it yet. So I started teaching in 1976 as a woodwork metalwork teacher. And of course, things transverse and change. Design and technology came online and computers first came out. And I remember the big black box, the RM machines came into schools. And I was fascinated. And what I ended, I ended up buying myself a computer one Christmas. My family hated me because you plugged them into the TV, so I never saw any programs over the whole of Christmas. And everything you did on it went bloody wrong because you hadn't a clue what you were doing. You were self-taught. My kids also became the same on the computers. The computer was a Texas TI 99 4A. 16K of memory. I spent five hours one day working on a program and my wife turned off the plug. <laughs> so it was gone because you didn't have disk drives. Everything was backed on the tips. But those were the days <coughs> when the interest in computers really grew in me. And my kids loved doing that program and stuff. So I then went and did a PGCE and a PG dip in computer science and actually started teaching computer studies the way it should have been taught. We taught programming, we taught computer logic, we used to do programming <laughs> in assembly language. It was all part of the course at that time. But then National Curriculum came online, ICT, and the government says we want people to use the computers. They don't want to know how they work, it doesn't make any difference. So ICT came online and computer studies disappeared. At that point, I then moved into the electronics. P partly because the teacher that did electronics in school actually had to leave. But he didn't have to leave, he got an offer of a better job. So I took over the work he had to do. And I learned electronics the hard way, self-taught. And then I went on a few courses. And then quite a number of years ago, I went on a PIC course. And I thought, this is a brand new electronics for me. This is, this is what electronics is about. The hell with transistors. The hell with all these different things you need. All you've got to do is write a program, and this little chip will do it for you. And this is what Raspberry Pi's come back around to. So it was. And that is the love that I have for computers. The love that I also have for electronics, and the fact that I can work on both of them. So as I say, I came along today to find out what this was about. And I've just gone back into my second childhood again. The things I've heard, the things that people have been showing me, is the way we should be going. As I say, the only difference is, in five, ten years' time, another government might come in and turn things around again. But the opportunities that there are in getting kids interested in programming and linking them up the electronics is absolutely vast. So it is. And the technology there that we never had whenever I started doing electronics because we didn't have picks. We didn't, we had to teach people, we actually had to teach people about a Darlington pair. Anybody who knows anything about a Darlington pair is one transistor that you connect to another transistor that gives it a bit of extra power. Nobody in the world uses them. They're never used because you can get them all in one little chip now. But the people that wrote the curriculum at that time were written by science teachers who says, ah, oh, but you've got to understand the old stuff in order to move forward. I say, whenever I did an ICT course, <coughs> at that time they were planning on bringing in an ICT technology, GCSE, which was supposed to be launched, but it sort of died to death, and that was Lincoln Electronics, and it was about using PICs and teaching her computers and electronics can advance things. As I say, I've now retired and I'm now able to try this out. And what I've heard today makes me want to come back again. The only difference is I've got to catch a train up into Manchester and I've got to catch one out of Manchester back to my own house. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Billy. Billy.